Hello and welcome to another review for Xbox One Reviews. I'm Daniel Waite and this is brought to you in association with Andrew Edney's Movies, Games and Tech.com. Thanks to Andrew for allowing me to make content for his page and thanks to the publishers and developers for the code. Today's review is PJ Masks Heroes of the Night which is available to buy for around £35 on multiple platforms. So let's wait no longer and see what it's all about. Superheroes come in all shapes and sizes and their antics span many genres and platforms. Their hard-hitting work ethic, colourful or sexy outfits and witty one-liners attract the attention of fans from many generations. I admit I love a good superhero tale and I'm desperate for my children to follow suit. I'm hopeful that PJ Masks Heroes of the Night is the key to getting them hooked. It should be the perfect option thanks to its simple gameplay, vivid colours and light-hearted plot. Developed by P-Toon Studio and published by Outright Games, this is a side-scrolling adventure title. Its single-player action allows your little ones to put on their PJs, gain superpowers and save the world. Though this is perfect for a younger audience, more mature children and adults will find the action tedious, stripped back and repetitive. However, keep in mind that it was created primarily for a younger audience, so complexity is out of the question. If you are familiar with the franchise, bear with me while I cover the basics. The cartoon comprises three children who are ordinary by day but gain superpowers at night. They are Catboy, Owlet and Gecko, and between them they quash evil plots and save the unsuspecting city. PJ Masks' Hero of the Night captures their heroic exploits as they stop Romeo, Luna Girl and Night Ninja's dastardly plots. So, the story isn't going to win an Oscar for originality, but it matters not. My kids loved exploring the familiar locations while tackling the well-known villains. Each level is easy to overcome thanks to the simple objectives and repetitive structure. This deja vu approach was painful to watch, yet my kids adored the rigidity and basic gameplay. PJ Masks Heroes of the Night stays faithful to many much-loved adventuring mechanics. You must explore, collect items and overcome bosses while using your special powers and teamwork. The developers have cleverly incorporated each of these elements while maintaining a simplistic approach. Every task has a clear user interface associated with it and verbal commands guide you throughout. Sadly however, as an observer this made the action tedious and mind-numbing, but my kids loved the user-friendly style and the lack of parental guidance. The gameplay reminded me of the Paw Patrol franchise, as the similarities are uncanny. In this you must collect 200 gems and 3 hero symbols. In Paw Patrol it's pup treats and dog tags. There is also a focus on basic movement and the need for certain characters to perform specific tasks. Subsequently, there were smiles all around as each playable character was used equally on every stage. Disappointingly though, every key task was either automated or restricted to one button minigames. Now I know P-Toon Studios is focused on a child friendly approach but this was perhaps a step too far. An option to adjust the gameplay would have been welcomed, especially for older siblings. Furthermore, there was a fun inclusion of vehicular levels. These character specific rides broke up the standard side scrolling approach and added some much needed variety. Gamers are screaming out for ultra realistic or movie quality graphics. Unfortunately, PJ Masks Heroes of the Night is nowhere near that level, yet it looks good regardless. Utilising the familiar cartoon style, fans of the franchise will love controlling their favourite characters. Sadly though, each level is painfully repetitive in both look and design. Fortunately, however, the developers attempted to counteract this with the minor theme changes, but the lack of complexity was alarmingly obvious on every stage. Unfortunately, Groundhog Day didn't stop at the graphics. No, the audio was pretty repetitive as well. The characters kept repeating the same instructions about collecting gems or climbing walls. It was infuriating to listen to, yet my kids loved the encouragement and gentle reminders. Moreover, they also enjoyed the similarities to the TV series thanks to the excellent action and high energy soundtrack. 
Though I wasn't its biggest fan, some of the dialogue was witty and it made me chuckle many times. The developer's understanding of its key audience was spot on. How they approached the button layout and the simplicity of the controls was excellent. Unlike some kids' games that require parental guidance, PJ Masks Heroes of the Night does not. The on-screen reminders and barrage of audio commands assist the little player's abilities in playing this unaided. Though the gameplay was repetitive and easy, my kids cared not and they'd have played this for hours if allowed. Fortunately for more skilled gamers, there is some replay value thanks to the collectibles and stage scoring system. Furthermore, the achievement list demands perfection, so it will require you to invest many hours even though it's not challenging. I wasn't a massive fan of PJ Masks Heroes of the Night, however, what I think matters not. This isn't a game aimed at adults and its key audience in my household adored it. They loved the colourful graphics, loud audio and silly story. Becoming a superhero was great fun and I'm sure your kids will love it too, therefore I recommend that you buy it. Put on your PJs, become a hero and stop those supervillains. That's it for me today, thank you for watching and I hope you like what you've seen. If you have, give the video a like, comment below and hit the subscribe button. Until next time, keep gaming.